Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers, thank you for joining me today. Yes, you are probably wondering why there's white space here and not a project that I'm saying, oh, here's what I'm making today. And that's because I'm so excited about what I want to show you that I wanted to keep them off to one side and bring them in piece by piece and show you them and unveil them. Um, I'm wanting to show off the ribbons. I think that Stampin' Up! have amazing ribbons. Um, they all coordinate, they all are so beautiful, so much quality. Um, and so I wanted to bring those to you in a slightly different way. Um, and so I went along with decorating some hair clips. I know you're going to think I'm crazy, um, you know, I'm a middle-aged woman and my daughter's 22 and I don't have little girls to dress with hair clips, it's a shame, um, but I think these are a great way of not only showcasing our ribbons, but also these would be ideal for gift fairs and stalls um, that you could make some up. These are simply a bow made up, let me just grab my tranquil tide as it's at hand, just literally doing the whole bunny ears, making the bow, oh my tranquil tides literally ended, um, making the bunny ears and just making a bow and then using either tear and tape or a glue dot and sticking them on. Now, I oh, can't even do the bow now, so literally the basics, that was how I made my bow and I just stuck them on. So that is the current in colours on hair clips. Now my hair clips I actually purchased are these ones. They are, um, I just realised the light shining on them so I'll just show you some. So they are just the simple clip hair clips, snap shut hair clips that you probably had as a child or you have for your children or grandchildren now. I purchased a bag of 50 and they did come from China so you do have to be a little bit patient. Um, but they did come quite quickly actually and I purchased these, there's 50 in there and I paid £2. So it just goes to show that you can make so many from £2 and the ribbon that you have to hand. So um, obviously I use the scallop tag topper here and just stamp the bottom, it says just for you. Um, that's from the You're So Sweet stamp set and it's just stamped in soft suede. Very basic. Um, but it just shows you all the colours. So of course I then had to use our retiring in colours and I've just made a thinner um, card here and I'm going to show you how I make these bows. Um, same as my paper ribbon bows on my video from Tuesday um, and I've just added the metal rimmed pearls in the centre there and obviously these little tails just at the back. Um, again, I'm just the same, just showing off the ink colours, adding them to a little bit. Um, teeny tiny sentiments, classic label punch, bit of white um, twine, cute little bows, ideal there again for um, putting on stalls and gift fairs. Um, or you can go full out and again I've just simply added a very basic bow here with the shimmer ribbons. So I've got the powder pink and I've just added the faceted gems to the middle there. Um, and just stuck them on a piece of DSP um, and again just tied with some twine um, and these are the long thin clear cellophane bags and these are the same made the same way as the striped one the gross grain ribbon but without the tails so I've not added tails to these ones um, and I think these ones just look a little bit more I don't know maybe you could use them for a wedding or something if you've got um, a little girl or little bridesmaids or something like that these are a real inex inexpensive way of making coordinating hair um, accessories and obviously I've done exactly the same here just with the black shimmer um, I think they look fabulous so I'm going to show you very how how to make them and they are very simple um, and I should do them very quickly so I'm just going to put these up out of the way um, the other thing that I did think of as well, so these are two plain ones, was using the bitty bows. You know these are ideal, they already have the backing on. Now this might not, I've not actually tried these yet so I'm doing this completely off the cuff here with you guys now. Obviously this is more of a dimension so it may not work but you just simply stick them to the plain part at the top. And there you have it. So yeah, just a box of bitty bows and a bag of 
hair clips. That's too high up. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could take that dimensional off and just use a glue dot. But again, how cute are they? Just two cute little hair clips. So that's just using the bitty bows. Um, and so the ones I'm going to make are using the um, metallic edge ribbon because again I think this will have a classy look. The lovely uh, white and gold and the vanilla, um, sorry, the white and silver and the vanilla and gold, again ideal for weddings or bridesmaids and again you can use the ribbon to decorate table decorations and then you've got them for the hair, hair accessories as well. Um, very simple, I'm going to do one with the berry burst and one with the vanilla and gold and so as you can see I'm actually going to be a bit crazy here and do it's me being crazy I know I live life on the edge don't I so I'm going to start off with the berry burst one and as you can see I've just got three different lengths I'm actually going to do a double bow so similar to this but with a double bow so you need your tear and tape and you just need two small little squares here and one will go on the inside of the long one at one end and one will go on the short end at the end and as I say this is exactly the same as I did for the paper bows it's just not obviously as tricky with the ribbon because it's a little bit more uh, pliable and you just simply take the backing off and tuck this end under over and round and just make sure when you do put them on that you just line up the edges of your ribbon there then with your short piece you're simply going to add a length of um, tear and tape just onto there and then take your backing off pop it down so with your larger circle you're simply going to squeeze them so that the middles are together so there's your bow and likewise with the um, smaller one and then you just lay them on top of each other so it is a little bit fiddly because this ribbon does want as you can see it wants to twist and slide and maneuver about once you've got it in place pinch hold of it like this and hold one of the ends and then you simply pop that over the center and then flip it over and then you tuck one end in and then the other. Now don't be shy to pull that ribbon, not too tight because you don't want to pull your bow, but just enough, I'll just trim that again, just enough to keep it taut because if it gets loose it will be a, a saggy bow. That sounded awful but you know what I mean. So there you have your double bow and then all you need to do is just push the end of your bow there and it will just bring them back to life and then either with a little piece of tear and tape or with a glue dot and I actually found that if I used glue dots you do need two so you need to pop one sort of at the top of the bow and then one just underneath and then you just pop it onto your hair clip again like I said just give those bows a little bit of a little push and then with the clear faceted gems just pop one in the center and like all good tutorials here's the other one I made so how cute are those again I think they're just perfect for some sort of wedding or party or anything any sort of special do where you can have your ribbon so I'm going to do this one as well just to show you again how quickly and easily they are to make up so again two small squares of your tear and tape and you just pop them on the inside at one end of the shorter and the longer obviously if you're just doing a single bow you just use one one piece and then we'll make these hoops up as it were and like I said this is exactly the same as I did with my paper bow on Tuesday's tutorial um, 
but as I say it is a lot easier with ribbon. And then I just need to pop some tear and tape on my centrepiece. I've got a hair tickling my neck in my jumper and it's driving me a little bit crazy. I don't know where that came from. Right, tear and tape on the centre. Just peel, oops, oh I did do it. <laughs> peel the backing off and then we just squeeze our circles together and layer them. And then, as I say, you sort of have to have a little bit of a fill. Now, I don't know if you noticed on my bottom one there, look, my ribbon, I don't know if you can see, my ribbon is hanging out a little bit. If it if it looks ugly once you've put your centrepiece on, just trim it. That's all I did, because you can't see under that part anyway. So I'm happy with all of that. So I'm going to come in the centre part, fold it over now. As you can see, it doesn't matter if you do top to bottom or bottom to top. I'm doing bottom to top on this one because my bottom piece here is just a fraction longer. So it makes it easier for me to cut. So I'll just give that a trim. And as I said, if you've got any bits, just give them a trim because you don't want them to look unsightly on your bows, especially if you are going to do them for gift fairs. And obviously remember that this, what I've made here, is not the whole, you know, nine yards of it. You could add buttons to the centre of your flowers instead of gems. Um, I haven't even tried doing paper die cuts. I mean, there's a whole other world, isn't there? If you use paper die cuts. So a couple of glue dots. Pop him on the centre. You see our mine's a bit lopsided there. And then I'm using the gold faceted on this one because obviously I'm using the gold edged metallic edged ribbon and again just fluff up them bows yeah that's a bit wobsided that one my centre part needed to go across more but again there's that one so there are my super simple and easy to adapt hair clips which as I say I absolutely love I've thoroughly enjoyed making them I think they're just so much fun I think they'd be great sellers at a craft fair um, and there's just so many options so try them out see what you can come up with um, so much fun hope you enjoyed my tutorial guys a different way to use ribbons um, and obviously stamping up are the best <laughs> the best ribbons because they're just so beautiful hope to see you all again soon bye